What's up everyone, welcome to the RA Visuals YouTube channel where you'll always find high quality visuals and high quality tech. And today we're gonna have a simple little video to be totally honest with you. Um, this one's gonna be kind of just off the cuff, not gonna read a script, not gonna do anything like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do something to my own personal gaming rig and take you guys along with me. So what I'm gonna do today, as the title said, is I'm just gonna be going ahead and installing some different um, RGB fans into my system because uh, when I built this system, Deep Cool actually sent me these and I didn't originally want to install them in the build because I didn't know if they went or not, but now I kind of want to do it and I figured I might as well take you guys along with me and show you guys how to install RGB fans if you guys are not aware how to do that. So we'll get right into it right after a word from our sponsor. VIP URCD key has you covered with fully licensed codes to activate your favorite games and software. Purchasing your key is super easy. All you have to do is click on the item that you want, click buy to add it to your cart. Once in your cart, you can now enter my promo code RAV20. After adding the promo code, you'll see your savings pop up and you can then purchase your product with your chosen payment method. Finding and entering your Windows 10 CD key is super easy. All you have to do is go over to your user profile, find your purchase and click view keys and codes to reveal your new CD key. Then all you have to do is go to settings and windows, click on update and security, click on activation, and finally click on change product key and paste your new key into the window and click next. You'll now have a fully licensed version of Windows 10 with no watermark. Check the links in the description to start saving now. Okay, fans, you guys are probably like thinking, Ricky, why are you showing us this? Uh, this is super easy, blah, blah, blah. Um, I actually asked you guys this in a poll on the channel and there are actually a few of you that said you wanted to see something like this and maybe some of you out there don't even know how to do this. So I figured why not give some of you guys some help that need it. So honestly, uh, yeah, really connecting your fans to your case is super easy. Typically, you just, you know, screw them into the screw points in the case, and then uh, you plug it into your motherboard where the fan headers are. That's pretty much how you normally do it. RGB fans, though, they're a little bit more complicated. Uh, usually, there's some kind of fan hub involved or some kind of RGB header that's involved uh, that some of you guys may not know that you need to connect to your motherboard. So that is what we're going to really start doing today. So the first thing, uh, you need to go ahead and prepare your case. So what I already did, I already took the side panel off of this because I needed to check out some stuff in the case, but um, the fans that we're gonna be replacing, uh, can you guys even see it? I'll have to turn my, these ones right here, these three in the front. Uh, these three, they're all, they're black colored fans. We're gonna make them, we're gonna make them white now. Uh, so that way the front of the case at least has a little bit more of the white theme to it. Um, and then we're unfortunately gonna have to keep this back 140 as a black fan because I can't find any uh, 140 millimeter fans that match the fans that I have in this case, unfortunately. So whatever, neither here nor there. Um, but what we're gonna go ahead and do is the first thing you need to do, sorry, is you're gonna have to dis disassemble your case. So we're gonna go ahead and take that front panel off. Uh, you guys may have stuff like this too. It's usually just a, a fan grill and then a, a, a cover for a, a dust cover. And then there you go, you can see we exposed all three fans right here. So we're gonna take those black fans right there and we're gonna place them with these uh, FC 120s from Deep Cool. Now these are actually pretty pretty cool. <laughs> you know it's in the name uh, because these don't require you to plug in each individual fan or even use a fan hub at all, which most RGB kits do these days. These fans are actually kind of along the lines of those Lianli Lee fans that all the Uni Uni fans that all connect together. Um, that's how these work too. They have a little cable right here that uh, they actually plug into each other so that way you can put three fans in tandem so all you do is you take this little connector and connect it to the next uh, fan in your sequence so as you see right here I already have the three connected and then you have one extra prong right here that is uh, gonna connect to a little connector here and then you'll basically use SATA power and then connect this to your motherboard and then go ahead and use the RGB header don't worry, I'll detail all this so that way you guys know what you're doing. First, we need to remove the fans of the front of the case. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'll probably time lapse through it. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I almost forgot to tell you. Make sure you take your side, other side panel off too, if you didn't already. Bonehead move by me. You're gonna need to grab your fans probably uh, from this side of your case too. So there you go. Now let's continue unscrewing things. So 
so uh, yeah, these are just gonna go ahead and you know, probably not ever be used again because uh, I, don't, I don't know how I'm gonna use them unless I have them in their deep cool case. But either way, that lets us go ahead and go to the next part, which is installing our new fans. Here's the fun part. All right guys, so what I actually did first was I went ahead and pre-installed our RGB header, and then I also installed our uh, four pin fan header too, to a, uh, a fan header on the motherboard. So those two white cables you see right there, um, the one on the right, that is the fan header, and I just connect that to a normal fan header on the motherboard. And then the RGB header is a three pin um, header that's on some newer motherboards. And then you gotta make sure you plug that in if you use an RGB device uh, for addressable RGB. That way you can control it with your motherboard and sync all your lights together. So I went ahead and did that first. That way when we put our fans in, it's super easy to just connect them into the back of the case. So I'll show you that in here in just a second. Okay guys, so the reason I went ahead and pre-installed those two headers was because A, it needs um, a motherboard connection for the fans. So I already got that taken care of. And the RGB header, that's just easy to take care of right away too. So that way with this particular fan set, all you have to do now is connect the three fans to this one header and then go ahead and get your SATA power right here and connect it to your motherboard. And I'll show you both of those. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install our fans in the case. And then I'll show you how to connect those two connections up. Okay, so let's go ahead and install some fans. So orientation. You guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and basically do the same orientation the old fans were, which is going to be uh, intaking air. So the way you can go ahead and tell the difference is, a lot of times um, on these special fans, they actually have an arrow. Let's see if you guys can see that, if it'll focus. There you go, there's actually a directional arrow on these fans telling you which way the air moves. So not every fan has that. So a good rule of thumb is, usually whatever side the main logo is, um, if you can see the main logo, it is going to be going ahead and pushing air that way. If you can't really tell, honestly, uh, the back always has this weird blade uh, thing on the back of it too. That's a good way to always like know that this is the, the back of it and the air will be going through it that way. Um, and if you really can't figure it out, just take your finger, spin the fan, and put your hand behind it. You can tell the air is pushing this way. So there's a couple of little tips for you guys so you can figure it out. Okay, so like I said, I'm basically going to just go ahead and try to use the pre-existing spots the fans were in so I can kind of see the divots for where the uh, the fans were screwed in before. So I'm gonna, I usually do a cross pattern to get a fan started. Um, if you wanna make this easy on yourself, I do one in one corner, one in the bottom corner. So that way when you screw it in, it'll stay. So I would just basically kind of start, start it get it started and then leave it a little bit loose. So that way, just in case if anything gets, see, like that. If anything falls or anything gets cross-threaded, you're okay to just redo it. So before I knock my screwdriver or my screw gun off, there we go. And then we'll get these tightened up a little bit more now because I kind of know where they're at now. So there we go. And then we'll get the other two in. And this is, that's really it, you guys. It's just basically screwing a fan in. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to the rest of this. Okay everyone, simple as that. So they're all screwed in, and to me, they actually look better than the black ones do. Next thing we gotta do is go ahead and just plug everything in. So those two connectors we talked about, let's go ahead and plug those in. Okay, so the two power connectors we gotta worry about. So like I said, these fans were connected in a chain, and then you only get one plug at the very end. And that connector that I originally already plugged into a motherboard header, there we go. It comes with this little splitter right here, and you simply plug it into the three fans that are up front. Very simple, very easy. I actually really like that Deepcool made it like that. And then to power them all, it just takes one SATA connector right here. So basically find a connector that looks like this. I'll try to zoom in on it for you if I can. But this is a SATA connector and basically just go ahead and connect it in. Bam, that's it. That is literally it, you guys. All right guys, so now we got my own personal gaming PC back where it belongs, the other PC's out of there. Uh, new fans are in, like I said, and let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it's any different. Probably not, but honestly, it was just some kind of little aesthetic difference that I wanted. So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, flip the switch. And hopefully, it turns on. There we go. And we got some fans in the front, honestly. You can't even tell the difference from the front of the case, you guys. It still looks the same as it did before, but 
Let me bring the camera over here and you'll see the difference in the way it looks because I think the white fans, they just look better. All right, guys, so as you can see from this shot, you can actually see the difference now. Uh, they're white, they match the case, and they actually match our pump and our uh, AIO fans and everything. So I personally think it looks a little bit better. Again, would love to have that back fan be the same color too, but you know, whatever, what are you gonna do? Um, either way, I'm able to sync the RGB now, make it all match and whatnot. So for me, it's a win, and uh, hopefully you guys found this helpful as well. So as always, go ahead and like the video if you found it helpful, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.